Welcome back to Living Free Forever. My name is Melody. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And to everybody else, thank you for coming back as always. Today, we're going to take a trip to Clearwater, Florida to check out some houses. And at the end of the video, like the other ones, we're going to check out the inside on Zillow so you can see exactly what's in the house. Keep in mind that a lot of the pictures on the internet are often photoshopped a little to make them look a little better. Sometimes I notice yards are like super green and it's, you know, maybe not exactly how it appears on the internet. As I've said before, if you're house hunting and you really are looking to buy a house, please see it in person. If you're out of state, you need to come down and check it out. So the first thing I want to tell you about Clearwater before we head off onto the road, it holds the world Guinness records of having the most consecutive sunshine days. So I think that's pretty interesting, pretty cool. Clearwater is in Pinellas County, if you were wondering. If you get a chance to come to Clearwater, make sure you see the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. That's where they help injured uh, dolphins and sea turtles, and I'm not sure what other wildlife. We haven't been to that one yet. We've been to a uh, moat aquarium that's in Sarasota. So that's one of our future visits. So I'm pretty excited to have a chance to see that, but we'll go when it's not peak season. Right now, this is uh, snowbird season. That means everybody from the North who wants to come down in the winter, they're here um, enjoying our weather and everything that Florida has to offer, but it gets pretty crowded. So we don't usually go to amusement parks or well, I still go to the museum, but I do it during the week, during the afternoon. But on weekends, like Clearwater Beach, I don't think we'll make it today, <laughs> just to let you know ahead of time. The last time we tried to go on a weekend, it was so packed, we couldn't even get onto Clearwater Beach because it was just backed up with cars and it would just stop the traffic. So we had to turn around. So that's something we should do during the week. Clearwater, St. Petersburg, this whole area, it's really nice because it is close to Tampa International Airport if you're just vacationing or if you're moving here and you wanna travel up north to see your family, you can jump on the plane. We have another airport called St. Petersburg slash Clearwater International Airport. So make sure you check out to see if you could fly directly to there instead of Tampa. Maybe they're different prices, I don't know. You'd have to see for yourself. So let's get on the road and see what we see. The first house we're going to see is 3980 107th Avenue North. When you're typing in addresses, at least on Pinellas County, and I'm pretty sure it's in Tampa too, make sure you put the north or south because it'll take you to a different address if you don't put that in there. Clearwater. This one is 215,000. It was built in 1983. HOA is $144.64 a month. I think one of the most important things about buying a used house is to see how old the air conditioning unit and how old the roof is because those are two of the most expensive uh, items on a house, not to mention, of course, if you need to replace uh, a septic tank. One of the things that's really nice here, if you're looking uh, to use public transportation, is Pinellas County has what's called PSTA.net. Go to that website and you can see the prices of taking the bus. It stands for Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority. If you're a student, sometimes you get a free ride unlimited across the whole uh, county. You know, seniors get discounts, lower income, you're disabled and even if you're full price it's not so bad and it's cheaper if you get a monthly card and then you can go anywhere you want in the county there's also something called the jolly trolley uh, tracker mobile app you can find it on your phone I guess it's five dollars all day unlimited pass that's for Clearwater and I'm not sure exactly where in Clearwater I'm not sure if that's just for Clearwater Beach or all of Clearwater but five dollars uh pretty good that's how the bus is too for regular price it's five dollars unlimited anywhere in the county if you want to take the bus and then you have clearwaterferry.com and their phone number if you want to call and get more information is 727-755-0297 but it's easier probably to go online and see exactly what it has to offer 
you've got brand new apartments coming here it looks like maybe condos they look like apartments they're building everywhere we have a park here but i'm not sure what park that is oh they're they're uh, driving around those little motor boats sailboats the kids so there's parks everywhere if you're looking for little parks for your children grandkids that park by the way is called freedom lake park i just saw a sign for it but that's not the house obviously we're gonna see this is just um looks like condos those are kind of cute i have no idea how much they are or if they're for rent or to buy this seems to be a very nice uh, neighborhood and it's very close to everything you can get to downtown st petersburg the airports the beaches and it seems very safe and clean i like it This is called Ciega Village. Ciega in Spanish is blind. I didn't even know this was here. That's why I like house hunting because it gives me a chance to just look at the neighborhoods. That's why I had said it's nice to rent first because I've been here for years in Florida and I never made my way up this way. Yard sale happening, that's cool. and going for drives on the weekends. It's just nice to see it in person, is my opinion. I know some of you think you could just do it off on the internet, and you can, but I think you get a better idea. Okay, remember this house has a clubhouse and a swimming pool, so it's a community with an HOA. It's nice that they do your grass. That's worth it in itself. So there's the house. Let me roll down the window so you can get a better look. Definitely needs a new roof. But it's very nice. It's at the very end here. I, it's a cul-de-sac. A cul-de-sac. Let me get the phone number here. Again, you can just find your own realtor if you want. But it's nice. It has the older tree. Just a perfect size house. And it's in a nice neighborhood. But, you know, just remember you're going to have to put a roof on it most likely. But other than that, I don't know what else it needs. The next house we're going to see is this one, 1818 Wynwood Drive, Clearwater, three bedrooms, two baths, 1771. That's about 200 square feet bigger than this one. 317,500, so it's a bit more, but it's newer. So we'll have to see on the internet later to see when they replace the roof last and anything else. sidewalks at least on this side and it's nice i did see on the news that florida is number one worst place for pedestrians it's because we have i think because it's nice weather all year long and people are walking and biking and a lot of places don't have sidewalks and people get hit or people are crossing the street when they shouldn't be or jaywalking or you've got people who are speeding and not stopping for pedestrians, or they just don't see them, or they're texting, or whatever. There's lots of reasons why, but be very careful if you're walking or biking here in Florida. And it sure is nice to have a pool. It's right there. Like the toilet oh, there's a toilet outside, so they put a new toilet in. We'll turn around. Here's some of the other houses, the neighbor houses, very nice. So if you don't have your own pool, it is nice to have that community pool because they are expensive to upkeep or to build one. They're like $40,000. Well, that's pretty nice. Let's get the phone number. There you have it. Open house Sundays. Yeah, open houses are nice to do. All right. 
let's go see our next house again we'll look at the inside later the next one we're going to see is this one it's 1861 diane drive in 1984 New seventy-nine thousand new roof that's a big deal three bedroom two bath 1482 square feet i want to show you the neighborhood while we're driving Well, you can find it on Zillow. They have their phone number there. It looks nice. We'll have to see what the inside looks like. Okay, this house here is 1369 Pennsylvania Avenue. This plan is very popular. They have these houses all throughout Tampa, Clearwater, St. Uh, Petersburg. So it's pretty popular. It's nice actually inside. I'll show it to you later. 231,000 um, brand new. Hurricane impact windows, that's a big bonus for me. Again, not just for hurricanes, but safety. It's hard for people to break into your house. Three bedrooms, two baths, 1,400 square feet. One thing I want to remind you of is to have a roll of quarters because many parks want quarters uh, to park at the beach or wherever. Make sure you have singles. Make sure you have $5 bills because sometimes some parks are $5 or $8. So you want to make sure you always have a few bucks in your car singles fives and a roll of quarters at least so this neighborhood has some older houses and so they built this brand new house in this neighborhood and I know that they're doing that everywhere oh see there's two being built that's there. an example of a brand new being built it's in this neighborhood I, I think this is your house <laughs> you think that's my house this house? Yeah, we just, yeah, this is it. Oh my gosh. It's under construction completely and it's not um, actually here. So this is the lot where the house is being built. It kind of shows you and you think, okay, I'm on the end there, there's no neighbor over here. You know, there's a fence over here, but that's not what's happening. This is what's happening. So that's why you want to come and see your house that you want to buy to make sure because you might say hey I like that house but then you get to the neighborhood and you're like well I'm not really happy about the neighborhood there you have it so the first house we saw 3980 107th Avenue 215,000 that was actually a very nice neighborhood I thought it's close to St. Petersburg it's on closer to the Tampa Bay side the other houses were closer to the Gulf of Mexico What's nice about being on the Tampa Bay side is you can easily cross into Tampa if you do work over there and you want to live on the Pinellas County side. You could take either Route 275 or Gandy Boulevard over to Tampa. Anyway, so let's look. And what's nice about this house, too, is it's on a quarter acre. Most houses are not on such a large piece of property. I know it's not large, large, but for being in the city, that's pretty good. This here says huge bonus room with brand new wall air conditioning, heat unit, closet, private entrance, wall air conditioning. So that makes me think it's not central air. So I'm guessing that every room has a wall air conditioner. I don't know. So that would be something you would have to ask more about if that was something you're interested in. The $144 I don't think it's too bad for an HOA because they do cut your grass because that could be a hundred dollars on its own if you want someone to do it and if you do it yourself you've got to get you know lawn mower, push mower, gas, weed whackers, <laughs> all that type of thing and uh, maybe you're in your retirement years and maybe you don't want to do it or maybe you do you're a gardener and you prefer to do it yourself then maybe you don't want to be in a place like this I don't know. You'd have to ask lots of questions. What's allowed and not allowed? Are you allowed to do your own lawn? Who knows? I, I've never lived in an HOA, and I'm sure they're all different. But you do get the community pool. Pools can be very expensive. If you have one, you know. Just the upkeep uh, is a lot. To put one in can be 40000 give or take a few thousand. 
clubhouse, automatic irrigation system, shuffleboard courts. Sometimes it's nice to be in a community so you could see other people get together for gatherings. And if you're not in an HOA, it's easy enough to join clubs. The lakes is home to the Roosevelt wetlands where over 100 species of birds and other wildlife can be spotted. That's one thing I love about living here in Florida is all the wildlife. It's so different. And the birds, I love birds. So this was built in 83. So you should ask questions about asbestos, lead, because I'm not sure exactly what years they were put into houses when they were building them. Lots of questions before buying a house. Buying a house is not a cheap thing to do. So let's look at the inside. But I really did like the community. I thought it was nice when we were driving around. It's kind of nice having a fireplace. And those of you from the north probably thinking, why would you have a fireplace in Florida? It can get chilly in the Tampa area in the evening especially. Down south, not so much. When we lived in Sarasota County, we only put on the heat maybe twice for the whole winter. <laughs> And I don't think I hardly ever wore long pants. I should have probably worn long pants today. It's a little cold. So you may or may not want to replace cabinets. They might be old, but maybe they're in perfect condition and there's nothing wrong with them. So it's up to you what you want to do and how much money you have to put into a house. But overall, it looks like a nice house. Again, walking in side. You know, you could tell if there's musty smell or not. If there is, then you know that there might be a little problem. But maybe there's nothing wrong at all. If people keep up with their house, it usually stays in good shape. You need to learn how to play shuffleboard. So there you have it for that one. Okay, this house, 317 It's almost $102,000 more. It's a little bigger. I think it's newer. Three bedrooms, two bath. It says garage has been converted into two rooms. So that makes me wonder, does that include the three bedrooms or is that just an extra two rooms? Optional, the seller is willing to convert it back to the normal garage. They just bought it and they're ready to sell it. So maybe they just have to move. So it's, uh, it's a pretty house. I like the double doors. Oh, I like it a lot. Lots of room. I just don't need so much space anymore. Once the kids are out of the house, I don't know what Rick and I will do. I have no idea at this point. But I look at these houses, I'm like, oh, they're so nice. But then I'm like, I don't really need all that room. I have a suitcase full of clothes and that's it. <laughs> Not even a suitcase, it's a carry-on. I really have, like, nothing. We've downsized so much. But we want to do a lot of traveling still, so we'll see. This house was really nice, too, I thought. Three bedrooms, two bath, 1482 square feet, 279,000. New roof, excellent. Garage door with external keypad. I wonder if they meant that's also new. That would be nice if it was. It says it's, it's a smart home that has Alexa phone to control smart thermostat, sprinkler system, and lights. I don't know if I want Alexa in my house. Sometimes I get a little worried about technology, but the next thing I know, I'm all in it so we'll see block as you know i think block is the way to go here in florida so they had it listed for sale at 292 in october november they lowered it to 289 and then 284 and now it's at 279 I'm telling you prices are coming down so this is good for buyers because houses i think just went up too much and it's difficult to afford for most people there's services for everything down here. Not sure what you would have to do to the house. You could find out. Of course, you'll have an inspection on the house that you will buy. That's about three to four hundred dollars. So you have to make sure you really want it because if you spend three to four hundred dollars and then you don't want it, well, you lost that money. You're not going to get it back. Now this kind of upset me a little bit. I should know better though. When it says under construction in the advertising there, uh, that means the house may not be up. And I usually don't look at those houses. I don't know why I looked at this one because when we got there, it was nothing like this. It was not in this type of neighborhood. You know where there was a road here it was 
some older houses around it. So like I said before, this house plan is everywhere. It's pretty popular, and I can see why. I do miss the idea of not having at least a single garage to put your car in. You have the storms in the summer. It's nice to be able to put your car away if there's a hurricane or thunderstorm coming. I just feel like it's a little safer, and of course, to keep it out of the hot sun that will tear the paint up your car. Um, I do like that hurricane impact windows have been added for energy efficiency and convenience. That's really nice. So let's look at the inside. Here's the inside. I don't think there's any carpeting in this house. Granite. I think it's almost a perfect house. This last house, I did not get to drive by it, but let's take a look at it. It is new construction. It does not say under construction, so it should look the way it you know, looks here. It's smaller than that last house I showed you by 300 square feet, but it has the garage. But it's more by 20000 so I think they're asking too much. But maybe it depends on the neighborhood. You pay for the neighborhood where you are, location. Uh, it has a lot to do with prices. So they did have it listed at 259 in September, and then 257 in December, and now it's 255 I still think it's too much. They've got to come down at least another 20000 at least, my opinion. And I don't even think this one has the hurricane windows. It's nice, but it's nice when it's all new and you don't have to do anything to it. <laughs> That, that's very helpful. Well, that's all I have for today. just was rushing through, so I try to do my best um, with the time I have. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like. Please share, and don't forget to live a passionate life.